The battery revolution has always been seen as an inevitable step in the advancement of electric mobility, but rarely has the world seen such a significant leap forward as the one about to occur with the arrival of the condensed battery developed by Chinese giant CLT. This advancement represents not just an incremental update, but a game changer capable of completely transforming the concept of autonomy, safety, and economic viability of electric vehicles. With an energy density of 500 wakas, nearly double that of the best lithium-ion batteries currently available, this innovation promises to usher in a new era of performance. This density is key to electric vehicles traveling up to 800 miles, or about 1,300 kilometers, on a single charge. This feat is impressive because it achieves this without increasing battery weight, something that has long been a technical bottleneck in the industry. This advancement eliminates one of the biggest barriers that still inhibited the mass adoption of electric vehicles, the so-called range fear. Drivers who previously hesitated to switch from their combustion-powered car to an electric one for fear of running out of power mid-route now see the prospect of long, safe journeys without the need for constant recharging. Consumer psychology at this point changes radically with the confidence that extended range provides. The secret to this technological leap lies in the heart of the battery, the electrolyte. By replacing the traditional liquid with a semi-solid gel, CLT not only improved energy efficiency, but also increased operational safety. This innovation significantly reduces the risk of overheating, short circuits, and even explosions, problems that still plague some conventional lithium batteries. The result is a more stable and reliable battery. In addition to the semi-solid electrolyte, the battery's internal structure has been redesigned to incorporate new materials in both the anode and separator. This combination allows lithium ions to move faster and more steadily, optimizing charge transport. In practice, this means greater energy efficiency and longer life cycles, which extends durability and reduces costs over time for the end consumer. This technology, however, isn't limited to automobiles. One of the greatest promises of condensed batteries lies in applications where weight and range are critical. Drones, long-haul trucks, vessels, and even regional aircraft could benefit from this innovation. The impact is profound because these areas face much more severe limitations than cars. In electric aviation, for example, the weight challenge has always been a nearly insurmountable obstacle. Each additional kilogram represents disproportionate energy consumption and a direct limitation on the aircraft's range. With a condensed battery, which delivers double the energy density without increasing weight, the equation begins to change. Electric regional flights become not only possible but commercially viable. The fact that this technology is already in the process of being certified for use in aviation is a milestone. This sector, known for having the most stringent safety standards in the world, leaves no room for risky or inefficient solutions. If the condensed battery can meet these requirements, it automatically becomes suitable for virtually any terrestrial application, including mass transit and the global automotive industry. The timeline established by the CLT indicates that mass production should begin in 2025. The initial plan is to direct this innovation toward electric aviation, a strategic testing ground that could boost the technology's reliability and serve as a showcase for other markets. Soon after, the automotive industry is expected to be the next to absorb this advancement. This path is not only logical, but strategic. By starting in aviation, CLT demonstrates that it is unafraid of the most complex challenges and that it is prepared to offer high-level technology in terms of safety and performance. At the same time, it positions itself to quickly gain ground in the automotive sector, which is the major driver of scale for making this innovation accessible. Despite the numerous advantages, the cost of condenser batteries remains a significant obstacle. The use of innovative materials and more complex processes inevitably makes their initial production more expensive. This means that, initially, the technology will likely be limited to premium models aimed at consumers willing to pay more for autonomy and innovation. On the other hand, CLT's history shows that the cost issue may only be temporary. The company has already managed to drastically reduce the prices of other technologies, such as lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are now widely used in more affordable electric vehicles. This experience suggests that the popularization of condensed cell batteries will only be a matter of time and scale of production. While the price hasn't dropped to more competitive levels, 
The impact of the new battery should be felt more immediately in sectors that value range and reliability above initial cost. Fleets of transport trucks, regional airlines, and even military sectors may be the first major users of this technology, testing its limits in practical scenarios. Another key point to consider is the condensed cell's durability. Thanks to its innovative design, which utilizes a spiderweb-like internal network structure, it significantly increases its resistance to mechanical shocks, temperature fluctuations, and multiple charge cycles. This extends battery life and reduces total cost of ownership. This durability isn't just a technical benefit, it's also economically attractive. For commercial fleets, for example, reducing the frequency of battery replacements can save millions over the years. For individual consumers, the promise of a battery that lasts more cycles before losing capacity provides peace of mind and investment security. Beyond its direct impact on the transportation sector, condensed batteries also open up new perspectives for stationary energy storage. In solar and wind systems, where intermittent generation remains a challenge, this technology could be the missing link in ensuring large-scale efficiency. With greater density and durability, battery systems can store energy more reliably and at lower costs in the long term. This role in the renewable energy sector is crucial. As the world accelerates its transition to clean energy sources, the demand for safe, durable, and high-density storage solutions is only growing. The condensed battery, therefore, not only strengthens the electric vehicle market, but also boosts the entire green energy infrastructure on a global scale. CLT's relationship with companies like Tesla is another element worth highlighting. Tesla, with its ability to rapidly scale production and reduce costs through innovation in industrial processes, could be the ideal partner to rapidly bring this technology to the end consumer. This strategic partnership could determine the future of the global electricity market. If Tesla and CLT do indeed move forward together, the impact could be compared to what happened when smartphones became popular a technology initially restricted to a select few, but which quickly became accessible and indispensable. The same could happen with electric vehicles equipped with condenser batteries. The competition, in turn, won't stand still. Other battery manufacturers and automakers are certainly following this trend closely. The arrival of condensed cell batteries could trigger a new technology race, with companies competing to offer greater energy density, longer range, and lower costs in the shortest time. This competitive environment is, ultimately, extremely positive for consumers. The more companies seek similar or alternative solutions, the faster the technology will become accessible. And, in this process, the global transportation and clean energy markets will benefit greatly. The transformation unfolding is profound. It's not just about improving electric cars or making regional flights more sustainable, but about changing the entire way we think about transportation, energy, and even global logistics. A more efficient battery impacts everything from the final price of products to global carbon emissions. And this is where the environmental impact of condensed fuel batteries deserves close attention. By enabling large-scale electric vehicles and aircraft, the technology could drastically reduce greenhouse gas emissions associated with land and air transportation. This shift could be a game-changer in the fight against climate change. But the environmental impact isn't limited to transportation. By enabling more efficient, renewable energy systems, condensed batteries also contribute to reducing the use of fossil fuels on a large scale. Storing solar energy during the day or wind energy during periods of high winds and releasing it when needed becomes much more practical and economical. This capability could accelerate the global energy transition. Another crucial benefit of this innovation is safety. Traditional batteries still carry risks of overheating and fire which generates distrust among some consumers. The semi-solid gel electrolyte drastically reduces these risks, offering a superior level of reliability. This trust will be essential in convincing not only individuals but also large airlines and transportation companies to adopt the technology. However, as with any disruptive innovation, challenges don't disappear overnight. Chief among them is cost, which may initially put off consumers. Models equipped with condenser batteries will likely have higher prices, limiting their reach to the premium market. But this barrier tends to diminish as mass production increases and the technology becomes more standardized. Interestingly, the automotive market has experienced this cycle on several occasions. Initially, inaccessible technologies, such as ABS brakes, airbags, and even navigation systems, 
were restricted to luxury vehicles, but within a few years became commonplace in popular cars. The same is expected to happen with condenser batteries, which will gradually migrate from the premium segment to the mainstream. Governments and public policies also play an important role in this popularization process. Subsidies, tax incentives, and emissions reduction targets can accelerate the adoption of vehicles equipped with this new technology. In countries already heavily engaged in the energy transition, such as Germany, Norway, and China, condenser batteries may find fertile ground for rapid expansion. Another aspect to consider is the economic impact of this revolution on employment and the global production chain. The demand for new materials and more advanced manufacturing processes could create thousands of jobs in emerging industries. On the other hand, sectors dependent on older technologies will need to adapt or risk losing market share. For consumers, the perception of value will also change. Today, many still evaluate electric vehicles solely based on purchase price, without considering the total cost of ownership. With longer-lasting, safer, and more autonomous batteries, the calculation changes. Fuel economy, reduced maintenance, and a longer lifespan make electric vehicles more advantageous in the long run. And then there's the psychological factor. A car capable of traveling 1,300 kilometers on a single charge completely changes the experience of driving an electric vehicle. Long trips are no longer a concern, but an attraction. This shift in perception could be the missing link that will help millions of consumers make the definitive transition to electric mobility. The same reasoning applies to regional aviation. Today, short-haul flights are still seen as highly polluting and economically unviable compared to other modes of transportation. With electric aircraft equipped with condenser batteries, this scenario could radically change, offering quiet, clean, and affordable flights. The introduction of this technology also represents a victory for materials engineering. The ability to manipulate the behavior of lithium ions with greater stability and efficiency was only possible thanks to advances in new compounds applied to the anode and separator. This field of science, which often goes unnoticed by the general public, is at the heart of some of the greatest technological revolutions of our time. In addition to improving performance, these new materials offer an additional benefit the potential to reduce dependence on scarce or environmentally problematic elements. If large-scale production of condensed batteries can reduce the need for critical minerals, such as cobalt, this could reduce the environmental and social impacts associated with mining. This aspect is particularly relevant when we consider that the pressure for sustainability is increasing. Consumers, governments, and investors want solutions that not only improve performance, but are also environmentally responsible. In this sense, the condenser battery can meet a growing demand for truly sustainable technologies. Another field that could be revolutionized is logistics. Companies that rely on long-distance transportation will see the new battery as an opportunity to reduce operating costs and improve delivery times. Electric trucks with greater range and shorter recharge times could transform entire supply chains, making them more efficient and less polluting. In the maritime sector, the promise is equally significant. Medium-sized ships and vessels will be able to operate with greater autonomy, drastically reducing pollution caused by the use of fossil fuels in maritime transport. This could be especially relevant in regions that depend on waterways for the transport of passengers and goods. If we expand the horizon even further, we can even imagine military applications. Armies and air forces are constantly seeking safer, more durable, and energy-efficient solutions. Condensed batteries could become a strategic ally, powering vehicles, drones, and even communication and defense systems in remote areas. This range of applications demonstrates that we are facing a technology with a cross-cutting impact, capable of transforming not just one sector, but several segments of the global economy. What CLT achieved was not just an incremental advance in performance, but the opening of a new energy paradigm. Mass adoption, however, will depend on factors beyond the technology itself. Regulatory issues, charging infrastructure, and even cultural acceptance will play a decisive role in the pace of this transition. It's not enough for the condenser battery to exist. The ecosystem surrounding it must be ready to receive it. In this sense, countries that invest early in infrastructure will be able to reap the rewards more quickly. Ultra-fast charging stations, incentives for electric vehicle production, and decarbonization policies can put certain nations ahead in this race. Others, which are slow to act, may become dependent on technology imports. 
The role of automakers is also crucial. Companies like Tesla, Volkswagen, BYD, and other industry giants will need to quickly decide how to integrate condenser batteries into their portfolios. Those that move first will gain a competitive advantage, while those that delay may lose ground in an increasingly competitive market. History shows that disruptive technologies don't wait. Just as the combustion engine quickly replaced legacy solutions and smartphones transformed the communications industry, condensed cell batteries have the potential to completely redefine the global automotive and energy landscape within a few years. As we observe this ongoing revolution, it becomes clear that the condensed battery is not just another technological advancement. It represents a true milestone in the history of electric mobility and the energy transition. We are facing an innovation that could truly reshape industrial boundaries, open up new transportation possibilities, and radically transform the way we relate to energy in our daily lives. The coming years will be crucial in determining how CLT and other partner companies such as Tesla can scale this technology and make it accessible to the general public. It will be a period of intense testing, investment, and adaptation, but also of great expectations. Each step along this path will bring benefits not only for consumers, but also for the planet, which so desperately needs sustainable solutions. It's inevitable to think that we're witnessing the dawn of a new era, an era in which autonomy is no longer a barrier, safety becomes a non-negotiable standard, and sustainability becomes the central axis of all innovation. The condensed battery has every chance of being remembered as a turning point in global electrification, both in transportation and energy storage. And now, if you've made it this far, it's because you also believe that the future of mobility and energy will be driven by innovative technologies like this. So, don't miss our upcoming updates on this topic and many other developments in the world of electric vehicles and sustainability. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like it, and activate the bell so you don't miss any content. Together, we'll closely follow every step of this revolution that has already begun and promises to change not only the market, but the lives of all of us.